Hello everybody, my name is Alan from CyberLab and today will be another video about Home Assistant. In this video, I will show how you can do the integration between your Home Assistant and a real link camera. First of all, you're gonna ask why real link? Okay, I have one example. This one is one of the cameras for a real link. They are quite cheap considering for what the resolution, what they can do. This real link camera, it's a Wi-Fi E1 zoom, so they have 5 megapixel resolution. And uh, because they have a Wi Fi connection and the type of connection that uh, they work, principally this camera, you can make some integrations using the home system. And what kind of integration that we can do? It's simple. We can get uh, this camera and make that they identify your face or some object or some cars or do a lots of other kinds of integration where your mind is the limit and in this way you can make a smart home more smart basically you can put a camera in front of your garage all the time that a car passes in front of your garage they will get the plates or maybe they will record something or will do some action that will be quite interesting for you if you want to to automate more your house also with machine learning you can get a memory of the face or some objects and you can make it learn and make more smart according for your demand but before we start to do any integration first we really need to configure it for this kind of cameras to be able to communicate the camera to your home assistant. After this, we can start to do anything else, but first let's do it. In this video, I only show how you can do specific for real link. So if you have any other kind of camera, this video is not for you. So you can jump for another video and do something else because it will not work. But if you have a real link camera, this one is perfect for you because it's the best way in my view that you can do this integration. So if you like this idea and want to learn a little bit more about it, this video we're gonna show it. But first of all, don't forget to leave your like, subscribe for the channel and let's do it. Before I start to show how you can do the integration for the real link, I will show which kind of integration that I used to use, at least this integration will work with other staple of camera. And after this one, we can go for a specific for real link that will work better with more things and that will get better performance for the hardware that you have. So we come here in configuration and here in the configuration, we come here in device and service. Here I already have set up some device. I still need to set up some others, but it's only the basic that I did so far. If I come here and add integration, the first integration that I used to use is ONIF. The first integration that I used to use is this one, ONIF. They work well. They, yes, they work well with a lot, most of the cameras, but they will have some limitation. When you want to do some integration, some uh, AI or some uh, smart analysis, they will not work so well. So let's go and do directly the real link installation. To do this installation, if I come here in this uh, real link dev, is this one that we're gonna do. What they say is home assist and real link customer integration. So we have this manual installation, but we're not gonna do it. I will use the SMB to do this installation on to show the idea that's work. Also, you can install using directly the hack. It's all the option that you can use. And if I go down, 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 down here in the end, they will show which camera that will not work. So they will not work camera E1, E1 Pro, battery cameras, B800, B400 and D400. Lucky me that this one is not the E1 Pro E1. It's a E1 Zoom, so they will work well. Only this model E1 Zoom that will work, or the ones that connect for NVR. What add for the system? If you look here, they switch, depend of type of the camera, you can have some email notification, you can set to record by the FTP, you can uh, turn on and turn off your infrared light, you can record audio, has some push notification and record if you have a SD card or you have uh, any other thing that you want to record. So have this one in mind, we come here. So I will show how you can do, not using this manual installation and not use the hack, I will show. You go directly here and you can download this code. If I come here and put download the zip, I can come here and download this information. If I open this file, 
I have it here. I can extract it in the same location because it's fine for me. And now I can come back for my home assistant. In my home assistant, I need to have uh, the SMB installed. So I come here in configuration, come here in backup and supervision. And here I have my SMB. I can install it. And that's it. here in documentation, you need to set up your user and your password and some allowance port. If you don't want to set up all those allowance port or your IP address is a little bit different, you need to modify it. As well, you can make some files to be compatible or not. So we can leave as a standard. Once that I open my SMB, I'll have these folders. Basically, all my backups will be saved here if I want to save this backup in another place. And after I can export, I'll use this backup when I do my initial configuration for the home system. If I come here in configuration where we want to configure everything, I have my customer component. Normally, if you don't have a rack install or any other application related from uh, any customer integration, they will not appear this customer component. So you're gonna need to create it from zero. But if you already install any kind of integration, you can come here and only open it. Here I already have some application that I was playing around and try to learn how to do. So you have the deep stack for face, deep stack for object, frigate and racks, of course. I could potentially only open hacks and do a download for this integration, but in this case, it will open my folder where I make the download. I can open here, open, Cosmo component, and here my real link, I'm gonna copy it, come here and paste it. Once that I paste, what I needed to do, I need to come here in my home assistant again, come up in the configuration, go in settings, and here in settings, I can come and check the configuration. So let's just wait to restart. In this way, this configuration, this integration from real, real link will be able to add as integration. So once that restart it, we can come here in configuration, and now we come in device and service. In device and service, I need to click in add integration. And now I'm gonna look for real link, real link. If you did everything right until now, there should appear real link IP camera. So I can click here and now I need to add the host. In my case, because this camera is off, so I will use my NVR that I'm recording everything. So we'll put IP 192.168.1.244. The port will be exactly the same for for free and now i'm gonna use my user my user is home assistant and that i put my password and i put submit now they ask which camera that you want to configure i can configure all the cameras all the channels but basically i will configure first the first channel and i put submit they already located my NVR, so I can come here and finish it. Now that they configure I have the front garage configure What I can do if I come here in eight entities, what I have, I have my camera, my IP address, my email option, remember that I told you, my FTP option, my last event, motion, my garage push notification, audio, and recording. So in this way, I can configure some actions according from entity that I want. If I come here in overview and I add a new overview, so I'll come here, edit dashboard, add a card. So you look for come if it means that I can come here and put continue and that I put add a lovely card. I'm not sure why they don't update each second, but it's a little bit better that they take five, 10 seconds to update. Otherwise they will use all the capacity for my home system or my Raspberry Pi only to do this update. In this way, now I can see my camera and from this, this camera, I can start to do some integrations. I can now set up to record plates. Now I can set up to record the motion or if someone come in my car or do anything according for my demand. The first point, you need to have an install camera. If you don't have install camera in your home system, it will not work for the next videos. So guys, I hope that you like the video. In this video, I show you can you set up a real link. If you have another kind of camera and you want to set up it, set up it. But at least if you're gonna set up and you want to follow the next steps of videos that you can do your own integration. First of all, you need to have a camera that have a RTSP functionality. It means that real time is stream protocol. If your camera that you set up don't have this one, it will not work the next integration. If you like this video, anything that was useful, please don't forget to leave your like, subscribe for the channel and see you next time.